come on. You can do it. This is Romeo, 16 years old. So, Romeo is an old guy. He's actually having trouble today. Um, he's going down the stairs. Well, he, he goes down the stairs like that all the time. But uh, he just threw up twice. Yeah, he's he's been getting pretty unsteady on his feet lately yesterday or the day before, I can't remember which, he was actually having trouble standing up on the linoleum floor. Actually, I don't think it's linoleum, but he's he's having trouble actually standing up on the floor, just slipping. Yeah, so he's, yeah, he's having trouble. He has a lot of problems lying down. Yeah, he can't seem to get comfortable anymore. It's often crying. He pees, he poops inside. But you know, he's 16 and a half years old. That's pretty old for a dog. Tonight, he's just been wandering around and around and he's been walking into places where he normally wouldn't. He's been getting into these tiny, tiny spaces. He he just normally well normally he would try to avoid those places uh, before he was wearing one of those uh, cones. Seems like he tries to avoid physical contact a lot too. Sometimes he he just wants to cuddle, which is a little unusual because uh, he just doesn't want to be touched that much. Well, he'll be. He'll be fine if he's uh, being pet, but yeah, it's hard watching watching a pet go through this. I've been through it twice in recent years. Yeah, we don't know how long he'll be. Uh, we don't know how long he'll last. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. Sorry, a couple of short videos in a couple of days, uh, but uh, if you've had experience with older pets, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. See you in the next video. So the video that you just saw took place last week. And just after that, the next day, we learned that uh, Romeo was going to have to be put down. You see, he was he was having a lot of trouble sleeping at night. He was always wandering around. He, it was painful for him to lie down. And it was always so awkward just watching him trying to lie down. He was also having uh, breathing problems. He was breathing so fast at times. And the crying as well. But the next part of this video was his last day, so please watch. He loves that. Closer to a Romeo, a Romeo, Tommy. Hey, 
You turned the TV off, it sure got quiet. Last walk. That was a very difficult day. That was last Friday, so it's it's a couple days after now. And of course, we're still feeling down about it. It's getting better. But on that day, I was a bit of an emotional wreck. Like I, I hadn't actually lived with Romeo for a very long time. I lived with him for a few months a few years ago and just the past few months. And then I'd see him maybe once a year. But while I was having problems, I was uh, I was not feeling very happy at all. I was quite sad. My daughter, though, she's just amazing. She came up to me and asked me, Do you miss Romeo? Are you sad? And I, I said yes. And she just hugged me and said, It'll be okay. And she didn't cry once throughout this whole thing. In a way, I think she's stronger, but I also wonder if she really understands. Like, she's only four years old, and I've heard that four-year-old four children don't really understand what death means. They may think it's temporary. And she has asked us, like almost every day, do you miss Romeo? And yeah, we do. And we're going to miss him for a long time. And eventually, my daughter is going to fully understand what this means. We're going to miss him. So thank you for watching.